YouTubers. And Jay Buzzsaw, 79. Uh, another deck profile. I'm trying to crank these out to make up for the lost time. I still apologize for that. Um, I have uh, gotten over an injury at work. You know, life sucks, right? I got a bunch of crap bitch about. Uh, yeah, I had a partial tear of my rotator cuff. Uh, work, got that taken care of. Um, I've gotten all but six of my currently, and I might dread, think about this for a minute, I have 32 decks constructed currently. Most most people usually have maybe four, five, I have 32 together decks. Uh, mostly completed, uh, you know, like I said, a couple of MSTs, a couple of chains or something, so... But yeah, uh, since they're almost done, um, like I said, I'm able to uh, catch up on these deck profiles I should have done several months ago. Still want to try to get uh, perhaps at least one to two uh, profiles on the channel per week um, and uh, kind of go from there. Uh, today I'm doing one that's a little bit of an older deck, but uh, recently I've been looking at it and uh, really excited for what I can do we got here. So. Uh, let's get right into the deck profile. They'll understand in a second here. So, first card up is the magical exemplar. So this is a spell counter deck. Uh, spell counters were okay. I think in this format they're pretty good because of the fact that a lot of people use spells. Uh, as a major thing now, so I get counters from both myself and you. Um, and with the other cards that are in here, it's not by any means the end all deck, but it actually has been doing okay holding its own. Uh, any deck to me that can stay at 500 when loss, gosh, that is actually pretty good considering, uh, you know, why not? Uh, to begin with, anti meta basically is what we're looking at here. If that does it, gosh, that's, that's a deck I need then. So, uh, first one of the match exemplar. Uh, she actually serves two points. Uh, every time a spell card is activated, she gets two spell counters. She can... see my kids in the background there. Uh, if you get two per spell, and then you may remove spell counters equal to the level to special summon from the grave spellcaster's level. So if it's a level three, you remove three spell counters, you can special summon back to the field uh, from the grave. So really good you have to run her at three just because it's one of the few cards that give you double spell counters which is awesome so uh, next up and this is the one big broken trick that everybody used to use here for him if I can get a third Knights End Sorcerer I may even add it in here uh, but what you can do then um, is basically you can uh, go ahead and get him to the grave with various cards uh, but you pitch him to the grave somehow. And uh, once that's done, you play... Well, the bigger one was always to play Foolish Burial. You play Foolish Burial, she gets two counters. You bury him, remove two counters. You special him back here. Remove two cards from your opponent. And you can go to six. Sink to six right away. So, uh, yeah, but Knight's End Sorcerer is a really good card. I said, you know, I, I might even add a third uh, to this deck. Uh, everything in here is a spellcaster, by the way. I'm not doing any anything that's in here right now is a uh, spellcaster inside in here. So uh, I'm running one va uh, Valor, because why not? It's freaking Valor. Uh, I am running two of the Defender Knight. Uh, when he is normal summon, you put a counter on him once per turn. If a spellcaster monster would be destroyed, remove the spell counter from this card uh, instead of destroying the monster. So I need a big defender. Uh, so if you normal summon shift your defense, that's not so bad. Um, with the protection the deck has, you can do that actually quite frequently. Uh, next up, <laughs> Celestial uh, Seer. She's a flip effect. Uh, so you get her effect like at the end of the combat kind of thing if you needed to. Uh, but the big thing with her is you look at the top two cards of your deck. One goes to the bottom of your deck, the other one is added to your hand. So, I mean, it gives you a little bit of library control. 
Uh, I'll tell you why I run her in a second here. Uh, I am running two Magician of Faith. Spell counters. Figure it out. Uh, being able to bounce spell cards back to your hand and replay them is awesome. Don't care what anybody tells you. Um, next up, Magicians of uh, Apprentice Magicians. And that's why I run Seer. Uh, and I run the Magicians of Faith because these are too good. Uh, you kill her, I can go and then set Magician of Faith for my deck or the Seer. Uh, it depends on what else is going on. I do not run on Vindictive right now in this deck. Uh, I'm just kind of toying around with it, but I really wanted to get up on the channel see what other people thought. Uh, double Breaker, because it's freaking Breaker, you know. Uh, boss Monster wise, I'm running two Chaos Sorcerer, because Chaos Sorcerer is really good. I have a decent ratio of light and darks in here. Magician of Faith, obviously. The uh, Veiler, because I can discard it. Uh, the, uh, the Magical Knight, or Defender, rather. Magical Defender there. This dude. So, he's really good. Um, and he's also a light target. Uh, Edaman. Edaman's big thing is you can special summon him by removing six spell counters from uh, your field spell. And then you can add one spell card from your grave to your hand. Uh, so at one point, and I only have one copy of this in here, I'll flash this out for spells. One copy of Swords of Revealing Light. Swords is really awesome because of the fact that what happened at one point is I played Swords, flipped Magician of Faith a couple rounds later, replayed it a second time, flipped the second Magician of Faith, played it the third time and then played both Edamons and played one Swords Revealing Light five times in a single game. Because apparently I had to stall like a son of a in order to get the win. Uh, so yeah, that was, uh, it was an interesting uh, game. So uh, Right now I'll run Dark Hole because I don't have extra Gekis, but uh, Dark Hole is okay. Uh, I've got one bound one. <laughs> apparently people are up now. Uh, one bound one. When you play Bound 1 uh, to the monster, the monster gains 100 times its star level as attack. When it's destroyed, you can basically, uh, if this is equipped to it, you can special summon the monster back to the field and, uh, you know, have some fun doing that stuff again. Little shenanigans there. Uh, one Foolish Burial. Uh, you know what that does. Uh, the one Terraforming. Um, I terraform into the Citadel. Uh, every time a spell card is played, you get the spell counter out. Whoop, that's not Citadel. You're not supposed to see that one. Citadel. You get the spell counter on it. And then if a card that is destroyed has uh, counters on it, you may add those counters to the Citadel. My wife's playing with her boobs. It's hot. Uh, so you boot that on there. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a really good play. Um, gives you lots of bonuses on it. The fun part is at one point I had somebody play MST on it uh, and it had a counter on it and you can remove that counter to protect the field spell and after MST resolved I got a, a kind of counter on it anyway so they basically wasted an MST and I laugh at them for that. Uh, next up I play three spell power grasp. You do not want to play anything less than three unfortunately for this deck. It's too good. If you have the uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, and what's it? Like a magical exemplar. If you have her out with the field spell, you play spell power grasp. Uh, she gets two counters, and the field spell gets a counter. Okay. Then spell power grasp's effect gives another counter. So you give that to your field uh, field spell, let's say. So now you've played one card, got four spell counters, and then you get to search for another spell power grasp. Uh, just just too good at that point. One Book of Moon, because it's freaking Book of Moon. Uh, one One Shot Wand, you equip it, they get uh, an 800 attack increase, which is really good actually, in case you need to run over something. Uh, and then you get to draw a card afterwards. Uh, I'd like to bump that up to two probably, I'm thinking about it. We'll have to see. Uh, one Spell Book of Wisdom, which you saw earlier. Uh, protect a spellcaster from spell or trap for the turn. Even if you don't play spell books themselves, the spell book cards are actually very good for all spellcasters decks. Uh, I actually run some of my gravekeepers now because the gravekeepers need the support, uh, which is really good. 
Uh, last card for spell, Megaton Magical Cannon. Uh, this is the main reason why we run the deck. Uh, remove 10 spell counters, wipe your opponent's field. Uh, generally, nobody's used to this anymore, and so they're not ready for it. They think I'm taking my time to put counters on to activate what, and they forget I got the big gun. Yeah, chicks like that. Get the big gun, uh, wipe their field down, and then swing in for game afterwards. Uh, I mean, just, you know, and this is what I have to say too. You gotta remember, they're filling up spell counters as well as you because they're gonna still play spells uh, because people forget about, again, the cannon. So, you know, at one point, I had the uh, exemplar out and I had field spell out. I had swords up protecting, you know, I had like one or two counters on. And the guy I was playing against was like, alright, well, I play duality. Alright, I get three spell counters. And you search for something, and like, alright, well, uh, I got, I play lure, alright, I got three more, I'm up to six. <laughs> you know, two cards, six counters. And, uh, I think he said a monster told me to go, and then, okay, my turn. Spell power grasp. That's four, I'm up to ten now, I can shoot the gun. And then I actually played one or two extra just kind of to give me a little bit of a buffer. Um, so yeah, because why not? Currently I only run four traps in this deck. Um, again, if you have 32 decks, you cannot sometimes fill out, so that's why I do proxies. Uh, but these are two chains here, Phoenix chains. As you can see, I use proxies a lot. That's why I got scratches, though. So what it's supposed to be. Beyond that, I just run a compulse and a bottomless trap hole uh, to round out the rest of the deck. Uh... So yeah, there you go. This is spell counters, uh, spell counters deck. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it, but you know I understand if people don't want to do it. Uh, if you don't want to, please at the very least go ahead and share the video to others. Uh, get it out there. That's all they usually ask. And uh, feel free to comment. I like comments. Uh, I don't mind responding to them. And uh, feedback is always good. So. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, uh, Spoke Counters. So, thanks a lot, and I'll see y'all later.